well, to say good morning to the young gentleman here on my immediate right is Saisi, uh, the person behind or the part and parcel of uh, the organization committee of the Shakespeare Miss Africa event yes. for poetry. Well, yes. thank you so much, Saisi. Let's make sense of that. <laughs> yes, There's nothing please. formal about it. Yes. English, so it makes them up as you like. Awesome. But able to let the course of your event. Um, oh, okay, where do I start? <laughs> Shakespeare meets Africa. I have always been passionate about the classics, okay. you know, literature that is from years before. Classics, Shakespeare, Oscar Wilde, those kinds of writers. Now, I felt, um, I felt there was not anyone within the Kenyan market who was giving the Kenyans that, 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 that kind of, you know, flavor, okay. that classic flavor. Okay. Maybe they felt scared that, you know, Kenyans wouldn't um, jump to the, to the opportunity. So I felt, how do I blend my love for the classics and my love for poetry? And how do I also relate uh, us Kenyans okay. to the Shakespeare story? So that is where Shakespeare meets Africa. Okay, and generally, before we go to the nitty gritties, yes. is it... You, did you draw the name from the fact that you are attributing it to the legendary William Shakespeare? Yes, actually what we are doing is we are blending some of his works uh, with some of our African works as well. We're just trying to find a common ground between the two worlds. So yeah, that's why it is Shakespeare meets Africa because we are borrowing heavily from the works of Shakespeare. Okay, Yes. Uh, talk to us about who will be attending and what are some of the top priority issues set for discussion that day and uh, what we expect. Awesome, awesome. It's a nice question. Um, <laughs> what to expect? Let me begin there. Um, expect something that has not been seen before. Um, no one has done this before. So okay. I can confidently say that we are the first to, to put this on stage. So um, guys should come expecting to be blown away, expecting to see something unique. Um, about those guys that are attending, um, I, have, I have several people who have confirmed. Among them is uh, uh, Professor Ken Walibora, who okay. has been a great mentor of mine okay. um, in the writing world. So he has confirmed that he will also be part of the audience. So yes, it's meant to be a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. Besides that, you're an actor too. Let's yes, make I am. But let's make sense of the poetry in the country. Yes. I mean, it, it, opens, up, it opens up the entire front of yes. appreciating the po poetry in the country. Yes. Besides the lines that we see that are beautified and then yes. that you come up make sense of the entire world around you yeah. with the different topics of yes. and the specifics at hand. Yes. How well does the society need to appreciate now the yeah. importance of poetry in the society, not only yeah. uh, seeing it from the perspective which is a bit biased in terms yes. of not considering it as lucrative as other uh -huh, courses at the uh -huh. university, but you. also yeah. Yeah. the fact that it's putting food on the table and yes. it's opening up new frontiers for yes. young people like yes. you. I think, I think people should start opening up to the fact that poetry once you commit yourself to it and uh, give excellence to the craft that you're practicing poetry in this case, it pays off. And I think um, the people around us, society in general, should, you know, um, give it uh, the value that it deserves. Because we, we work on our craft hard. Okay. We give it excellence. We invest our time in it. So it would only be fair that um, the people who are consuming our art okay. would be able to um, appreciate the value that we are doing. If if we get to that point, then okay. it means poets will be able to live off of their work because I would I would I would do something that is excellent and I would get due pay okay. for that that which is excellent. That means I would be comfortably living off of poetry. Okay, yes. is that the real reality today, as we speak? The reality is that we are getting there. The reality is is um, where where we started from and where we are now. It's 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 different. It's different. We have we have made a huge leap. For example, where I am working now, I, I do poetry, I write, I, I content create for okay. Creatives Garage. So it means I have I have found a job out of poetry. That is what I do all day. So that is something that would not have happened in the years past. So I think we are moving towards the, the right direction. Okay, so looking at yourself from that yes. individual perspective, yes. we'll come to who will be attending yes. uh, and, and the importance of that uh, uh, congregation, yes. which is set for tomorrow? Yes, for the 23rd of September. 23rd of September yes. 2018, yes. in about a week's time. Yes. But looking at yourself from the individual perspective, yes. is your journey self-sculptured? Were you initiated by the fact that you had a talent in you and then recognized it, propelled yourself up to where you are today? And who supported you along the way yes. in terms of appreciating the God-given talent in you? I am hungry. I'm, I think I am, I am the thirstiest person that you'll ever meet. Um, and, and I have always known that I had it in me. I had always known that the arts was my place. But I had not really found out where exactly in the art world do I fit in. So I think once I realized that poetry is my portion, I, I, I threw myself into it and pursued it with everything that I had. And, and it was very important for me, the people that were around me, the immediate environment of friends and, and, and actors, fellow okay. actors who saw what I had in me 
and and they kept encouraging me kept encouraging me kept kept feeding my hunger okay. so i have grown off of it the passion has grown and that is what pushes me to as as an individual to want to achieve excellence in with mm. poetry mm. Yeah. okay now let's make sense of also of the congregation yes is it one of that like-minded people that is bringing together you and company yes. uh, to make sense of the poetry world and yeah. how important is it in yes. terms of bringing to forth or bringing to surface in terms yes. of uh, creating that sense of awareness that yes. poetry plays an important role that it's yes. an integral part yes. of the societal development yes. and how yes. will you play that crucial role what we want to show with shakespeare meets africa is is this it's actually simple really we want to show it's it's we are talking about the evolution of society. We are talking about works that were written by Shakespeare in the, in the years before. We are talking about works that have been written by some of our African writers, uh, years post-independence, and we are talking about now. So we want to show a connection between all these timelines okay. and show us that actually we are still struggling with the same issues. So I think it is important to show people that even okay. the issues we are going through now are not unique to us. So we can't, we can't Albert Einstein says that you can't do the same thing over and over expecting a difference. Okay. So I think it is important for people to come and see that we need new ways, we need, we need new solutions okay. because the problems are the same. We can't tackle them in the same way. That is what Shakespeare meets Africa is trying to do. So with the congregation that is coming in, we just want to open their eyes and tell them that, guys, this is not new. It has been happening. Okay. So let's find a new way of dealing with this. Of issue. course, the case you have just mentioned of banging your heads, your heads against the same words, expecting different results. Yes. Impossible. But equally <laughs> important here is yes. that... Uh, the appreciation sense of the society now yeah. accepting it being part and parcel yes. of the societal moving forward yes. is also uh, the clear underlying factor here which there is a, 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 a bit of mismatch yeah. but how do you bridge that gap also i mean and and make an accurate interpretation in terms of conveying that message yeah. that you are not only meeting for this particular event yes. but this is perhaps uh, bringing together the blocks of the past creating yeah. a chain yes. and going forward scratching the surface for the future generation who are yes. interested in poetry yes. so that the uh, coming generation who are interested in poetry cannot yes. see the hurdles you have seen yes. or the hurdles you have witnessed on the yeah, way, yeah. but see you as the high watermark, the generation that paved way for them. Now, I think um, what we have tried to do is we have tried to accommodate as many genres as we can. For example, within, within the, sort, the set of our show, we shall have jazz, we are having the African dance, we are okay. having African percussions and African music, we are having poetry in the midst of it all, we are having acting in the midst of it all and music as well. So we have brought all these things together to show us that even the congregation, the audience that is coming in, yeah. everyone has a different taste, but we have give, there's something for everyone. Okay. Within this very, set, there's something for everyone. So we are trying to show this, uh, the younger generation as you say, that anything is possible, actually. Anything is possible. That This is actually the most important thing I'd say, that don't, don't, don't just follow the rules of, of what has always been done. Poetry is done in this way, so follow this way. No, let your mind run wild. You okay. know? That is what we are trying to tell the younger generation that is coming up. Once you get to a position when you're doing your own projects, let your mind run wild. Think outside the box. Think crazy. Think wild. Anything is possible. Okay, don't yes. fix your mind. Even yes. the word impossible says, I am possible. But, but going forward, <laughs> and we have a segmented audience here. Yes. You are putting our own case, uh, perhaps uh, uh, the bringing together of different journals, as you mentioned. Yes. But in the present society, we yes. don't have mass audience as yes. we had before. Yes. What we have at the moment, according to scholars of communication, is yes. segmented audience. Yes. Somebody might be interested in the way you communicate. Others yes. might be interested in the way you uh, tackle the topic that at hand. That is true. But even as you do that, how well does your audience, which is coming to the yeah, event as yes, well, yes. I'm, I'm sure some have already booked, yes, they that, have. Does, how does it mesh up with the entire issue of uh, from there, yeah. having that team and appreciating the fact that there are some in the society yes. who view you from the positive lens than the others who keep on and looking at it from the negativity, the negativity bit. Yes. I, I mean, you, you cannot please everyone. It's impossible. Now we're using impossible too much today. <laughs> you can't please everyone. <laughs> I mean, uh, we are trying. We are trying to accommodate everyone that is coming to our audience because we have varying age groups we have old guys coming we have the new guys we have the Millennials coming. Okay. even little ones are coming to see the show so we are trying as as much as we can to to be able to accommodate everyone even though it is hard but we are trying see it's 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 hard also to appeal to everyone people will look at us negatively for example Shakespeare meets Africa we are also addressing the issue of religion that is something that is very sensitive that not everyone will take home okay. positively they would not be quick enough or, or patient enough to want to understand why are you saying what you're saying okay so it is it is difficult but we are trying okay 